President Obama is giving the public access to all research from projects that have been funded by the federal government with over $100 million. Now, this is a huge step in the scientific field. You have Dr. John Holdren, who is the assistant to the president for science and technology, giving a response to a We the People petition that over 65,000 people signed. The effects this is going to have in the uh, scientific field is big. For, for one, it's going to create the stepping stones for scientists to use parts of the process that have already been completed by other scientists. Two great examples of this are the weather forecasting industry, which has a huge public benefit so that weather forecasting can uh, continue to uh, progress and evolve and uh, help us with information uh, to better understand weather events and, and the damage that they can cause because with global warming happening, we're starting to see that these weather events are starting to be big and they're starting to have a huge uh, impact on, on us as citizens and also the Human Genome Project because it's also going to create a few markets including data curation so people can go in and uh, create a website so that this information can be easily accessed. Uh, we're also going to see preservation because this information is going to have to be secure for uh, from here into uh, until affinity, right? And uh, analysis. So uh, people and websites are going to be able to uh, take the information and really tell people uh, exactly what it means. And finally, visualization. That's going to help people just simply translate this information and make it so that the public can understand it. So this is a tremendous step on uh, behalf of the Obama administration, as well as the United States Senate and Congress that are uh, looking like they will easily pass these bills. So I'm, I'm very proud right now of our country and the steps we're taking in the scientific field.